Hey there, one up Indy here coming with another video tutorial on remaking Vampire Survivors in Game Maker. And today we're gonna do two things, not too terribly important, but of course uh, crucial. So if you've seen that in other video tutorials, then well, you can basically hardly skip this video. So what am I talking about? The one thing, for example, this is depth sorting. So basically you're drawing above and below depending where your position is and the second one is basically input from the keyboard or for good measures because i've heard vampire survivors player actually like to play that with a gamepad then uh, the gamepad uh, thumb the left one used also for controlling so basically just for movement so if you want to know that then stick around this is one up indie i am a developer so if you like what you're seeing and hearing of course then hey why not consider sharing liking and subscribing to the channel of course so the first thing which we need to do is so this is where we left off basically we clumped together in our object enemy parent our two enemies and then we're just um, giving him a walk speed and direction and basically this is for the movement so the logic now we want to depth sort so one thing is getting drawn above the other and i did a video on that already so this should be old an old hat for you if you watched it i don't know three four days ago so basically the depth is being then to minus one and then we are basically giving every enemy its specific uh, temporal layer which is on the depth thing so this is how that works and then we should not forget our player so we do that for our player also so depth of our player is his minus value and once we start it we get this result and as you can see we are drawing above and then if we are below we are drawing below so this is how depth sorting works not nothing too special and difficult here so link in the description below if you haven't watched the video or if you want to see a longer version so let's get rid of that and let's do one thing so we got our player and we want to give him some movement so basically we just have a movement speed variable which we set to two or three it doesn't really matter this is the maximum end result which we are getting and then hopefully you have seen that in tons of other videos basically we're just getting a keyboard input so a keyboard check and then vk left of course we can go for awsd if you like but eh, eh, let's do that the fastest way oh, beautiful and then what we do we combine those two into horizontal and vertical movement and basically the end result so uh, now this is redundant stuff we just store in the horizontal uh, right minus left and then the end result which is this one here could be so minus one zero and one the same for here minus one zero and one so this is the end result because this can just return zero and one and then well we're getting that and then we just say like sweet let's apply that to our X, so update our x for example our horizontal which could be once again minus zero and uh, minus one zero and one times our walk speed so this is then how we apply that so apply here we go and then basically this is how that works so let's check this out and boom we are pressing the key and of course now we are a little bit of <laughs> moonwalking which we don't want but of course this is good enough and now of course we can check out uh, our position and so on so to avoid the moonwalking kind of easy so what we're gonna do is we are just checking hey is our horizontal which could be once again minus one zero or one we're just checking hey is that bigger than one or bigger than zero sorry is it bigger than zero and then we just say like hey our regular image x scale is one but for example if it's well smaller than our horizontal one then we just go minus one and then we're flipping our image x scale so nothing too specific about that hopefully you understand where this goes already and then the last thing then we're pretty much finished with the video we want to override with our thumb so let's go here and what we can do and this is abusing our horizontal value and store it into gamepad access value and this dude here because it's an access is giving you a threshold between minus one 
and 1. So basically this could be 0 0.3.5 or it could be um, minus uh, 0 0.3 or something like that. And therefore this is basically replacing that whole thing. Then of course we can do the same stuff for the vertical. Basically we're just substituting and overwriting those values. But once for example we do that um, our keyboard input would be nullified because we're overwriting it all the time. This is of course not what we want so therefore we just have to say like hey dude um we just say like hey if the our so this is axis left horizontal left horizontal then left vertical if both those inputs are uh, if they are not zero so basically one of those has some movement then we are overwriting our keyboard inputs and then basically we get this let me grab my gamepad, my what is it, Xbox controller, and then whew, we can actually go slower and faster. And this is, of course, then a much more interesting system because the keyboard inputs just zero and one. So basically, you can go full speed or nothing. And here we can go slower and faster if we like. But of course, now I'm letting go of my uh, gamepad, which is doing this. So if you're thinking, uh, what's happening here? Well the calibration the threshold isn't that good so therefore what do we do to remedy that let's get rid of our gamepad this is what i did in another video so here once again we need to define a threshold for our gamepad come on let's go into the create event and then set it once and then gamepad set axis so our gamepad zero so the first one plugged in and then give it a threshold of 0 0.2 that just means hey everything below 0 0.2 as an input is getting nullified and then it's zero so this is cancelling out uh, my terrible <laughs> well uh, gamepad and then this thing works so hopefully you found this interesting and we are over seven minutes yeah so this should be good enough for us all right see you in the next one have a good one one up indie